Yeah. You guys have been the best, craziest, most amazing audience, and you are in for a real treat now. Give it up for Bart Quad! Yeah. Hi, my name is Bart, and uh, I grew up in a strict family, and by strict I mean Asian. And uh, what's weird about Asian parents is that they tend to think other ethnic foods are improperly cooked versions of Asian food. I took my dad to try Italian food for the first time, and I was like, hey dad, so how do you like your fettuccine alfredo? He was like, who puts milk in chow mein? <laughs> I thought he was just messing around, right? So I took him to try Mexican a week later, and I was like, hey, Dad, how's your burrito? And he was like, this is the biggest egg roll I have ever seen. And it's not even fried. Sorry, Dad. It's okay. Let's go get milk with chow mein. I know, great place. And I'm tired of Hollywood taking Asian films, copying them almost scene for scene, and then remaking them with Hollywood stars. Because there's this dope-ass Hong Kong action flick called Infernal Affairs. But Hollywood, but Hollywood got a hold of it, changed it to The Departed, starring Matt Damon and Leonardo DiCaprio. But Asia doesn't do that. You don't go to the movies in China or Korea and see Batman and Robin changed to two men in spandex. Hot day, fight the crime. Kim jong Il and Chow yong Fat. Coming soon in IMAX 3D, baby! You don't see that shit. But growing up, I've always wanted to fight the crime, too. That's why um, I joined the Marine Corps. And, and I served six years at my unit called Third Anglico, and it's located in Long Beach. And what's hard about being a Marine is that you have to fight in wars that you don't believe in. But I always imagine what it would be like if I met a terrorist that was fighting in the same war that he didn't believe in either. Because you'd be like, Psst, I could have shot you right now, but I ain't really feeling this war. Me neither. I'm only fighting because they promised me 72 virgins. Damn, you get virgins? I only get money for college. <laughs> I go to the Pima 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 Street Club, Spearman Camel. You get your money, I get my virgins. No, 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 no. <laughs> so I grew up in San Gabriel Valley. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. SUV, woo -hoo. yeah. And uh, San Gabriel Valley is just like Compton. Except you take out all the black people and you replace it with ghetto ass Asians and Hispanics. <laughs> and everyone there, at least when I grew up there, was go um, everyone was going through it, joining a gang phase. Like everyone joined a gang. But there's so many gangs that choosing one was like applying for college. <laughs> and they'd have their own admissions officer too, because they'd be like, oh, nice to meet you, Bart. Let's take a look at your resume, shall we? You got an A in chemistry? We do have a meth lab on 39th Street. <laughs> Is your favorite color blue? Um, I guess so. Excellent. Welcome aboard to the East Side Crips, where we have 99 problems, but a big change one. <laughs> it's always been so weird to me how gangsters get the names of their gangs tatted all over their body, you know, to represent but they deny any gang affiliation when cops arrest them. Cause they'll be like, hey, you stupid cop, you arrested the wrong person, fool. I'm not in a gang. The why is MS-13 tatted on your forehead? <laughs> That's the name of my ice cream shop, Manuel Sanchez and 13 Flavors. <laughs> Thank you, guys, my time.